Hi everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you a simple way to make some bone broth. As you've seen in the stores lately, there are a lot of bone broths out there that you can purchase. They're quite expensive and it's super easy to make it at home. This is the easiest way that I've just kind of stumbled across when I was really hungry on my diet and decided to pick up an organic chicken from Whole Foods. So here's, here's the first step. If you have any leftover meat bones from meat that you are um, eating for dinner. This has everything on it. I'm going to eat all the chicken off of it and then I'm going to take the carcass and all the bones from the legs and the wings and the thighs and whatever leftover fat that's on there. That is all going to go into a slow cooker and cook for at least 24 hours. You want to add two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar organic preferably That'll draw out any of the collagen that's, that's inside the, the bones. And um, so that's going to be your first step. Now, when you, fill up your, when you fill up your pot, whatever you're using, I'm going to be using a slow cooker. You're going to want to buy at least a gallon of water. Fill it up as much as you can so it's over the top of the, the bones and whatever that you buy. You can also do this with beef. But with beef, it's recommended to do up to 48 hours of letting it sit. And it's on the very lowest setting possible um, that you want to cook that at. So I buy this. I eat the, chick the chicken meat off of it as much as possible. And then I put the rest of it inside my slow cooker and let it cook for 24 hours. And then I just scoop it into mason jars and stick it in the fridge. It'll last about three or four days. Or you can freeze that if you would like. So I'll show you, this is the first step, is getting your water, getting your chicken, eating all the yummy chicken off of it, and then moving on to step two. Okay, see you back. Hi everybody, we're back. It's been 24 hours since our chicken has been brewing in here, getting all the collagen out, getting ready to find any spots in our body that need curing. What we're going to do, I'm going to first go ahead and put it in a bowl. If I put it in a bowl, and it sits overnight in the refrigerator, there'll be a layer of fat that sits on top. You want to scoop that layer off before you take out the broth that you're going to drink, or, and you should leave it on the rest of the area because it'll help hold it in really nicely. So I'm going to scoop it in here first before we put it in any mason jar. And when you do this, you'll see there's all this extra stuff. So if you want to do it through a strainer, you're welcome to do that doesn't really bother me if I get a little bit of extra fat because I'm not really eating any carbs right now so I need the calories so I'm just gonna put that in there and if I see anything too large I'll just I'll just take a little spoon and pull it out then I'll remove this carcass I'll throw it away and I will start with the next one so I always have it available and if you wanted to Take this broth and add some lentils or add some of the chicken to it, add some carrots and celery. I literally added nothing to this but the apple cider vinegar to pull the collagen out of the bones. That's it. I salt it a little bit when I drink it. And you can add some garlic to it, some onions to it if you want to add extra flavor. But honestly, there's salt and pepper on this. Also look for, like I got an organic chicken, that's super important because if you're pulling stuff out, you don't, you don't want to be consuming a bunch of chemicals. This is not injected with anything. The only thing that's on this is salt and pepper, but it does give it a nice flavor from the skin and the salt and pepper when it's roasting at the store. So as you can see, there's lots of little le leftovers in here. You can pick out and eat if you want, which I will probably do. And my dog really likes some of this bone broth on his kibble in the morning so and in the evening or whenever he can get it and bribe me into it. So that's really what's left. And I'm going to go through this, throw it out, and I'm going to start all over again because it's already dirty and why clean it twice? Because I will go through this bone broth pretty quickly with my family and my pets. So I hope you enjoyed this, this video. I hope you get something out of it. Remember, it's very important to take care of your health. And this is just one healthy way and a lot less expensive way of getting your bone broth in so that you can repair the damaged cells in your body 
and it removes inflammation from your throat if you have a sore throat during cold and flu season. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out my Instagram page, uh, Denise underscore Hosher. Take care. Bye-bye.